Hello folks, my name is Andrew Demeter and today I will be orating to you an anecdote regarding the revolving door of both corporate government and federal government. So our story takes place, or dates back rather, to the 1960s, the mid-1960s to be specific, and at that time there was a corporation called G.D. Cyril, and a chemist at that corporation, whose name escapes me, was developing aspartame, which is a artificial sweetener product used in over 6,000 products today, ranging from diet beverages, chewing gum, and frozen desserts, to cough drops, vitamins, and even yogurt. So aspartame is definitely well entrenched in our food supply. Anyways, this man who was creating aspartame, who invented it, developed it, whatever you want to say, basically wanted to test it on rats before he sent his test to the FDA so he could get approval and obviously yield a large profit. So while he was testing aspartame on rats, they actually, the rats actually developed various cancerous malignant tumors. So before he sent the samples to the FDA, he decided to excise the tumors, cutting them out of course, and then sending those results to the FDA. And when the FDA retrieved the results, they found out that obviously something was not right. There were some tainted portions of the experiment and they were definitely sloppily conducted. So the FDA eventually concluded that aspartame was bad and should not be used on the market and they even uh, constructed a public board of inquiry composed of independent scientists who conducted their own tests, again concluding that aspartame should not be on the market. So you may be wondering, well, how is aspartame still in the market in various products as those I previously mentioned? Well, the answer to that is during the Reagan administration, Donald Rumsfeld was in the Reagan administration cabinet and he actually appointed a new FDA commissioner replacing the old one who opposed aspartame being on the market. This new FDA commissioner almost immediately passed and approved aspartame in one of his first acts and then after approving aspartame for public consumption, he then left and was transferred to Burson Marsteller, which is the public relations office for both Monsanto and GD Cyril. Folks, this is not a good thing. This cannot happen. This is why corporate and federal politics should not be interlaced because it is just disastrous for everyone involved. This has been Andrew Demeter reporting on behalf of Press for Truth. Thanks for watching.